over at the scene of the crime. Um, very nice red blood. Does not look like liver. Looks like lung or heart. I don't see any bubbles, so let's just hope it's a heart shot. Um, stand is okay. right there, and you shot it like right, right there. there, like right under your feet. Um, we found blood going downhill right there. This is our food plot. You guys seen a video where we planted it. It's looking beautiful, the deer are hitting it. There's some really nice turnips and radishes in there. Man, never got so and uh, like, look oh, at yeah. It's golf ball size. See here, look at that. Oh no, that's a rock. <laughs> so we got turnips growing and yeah. it's still looking nice and doing good. See how deep that footprint is. Well, let's go find your deer, Laura. Let's go find my deer. You can see decent blood, fairly high. Oh, she went through some crap. Maybe on her hands and knees. There's bubbles in that blood, that's good. It's the first blood with bubbles. Yeah, there's bubbles. They're running downhill. I can't believe this is an actual deer trail. Oh yeah, you guys are going to have to get her out. You see how this is all rustled up? Yeah. It's like she stumbled. Very good boy. Right? Just not a ton. You can see here, look at her. She's, she's literally like falling down this hill. Yeah. Look at that, she's... pushed up. Unless the turkeys were scratching right there. There's, oh, there's yeah, blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. There. Oh, yeah, she bumped into this tree. She went right through this shit. Yep, she sure did. There, there she, she is. is. She's there? Yeah. I see a deer. Can you see her? <gasps> I see a deer. She's there. Nice, Laura. <gasps> I'm sweating out like a pig. She didn't go far. I'm so excited for you. I mean, I know that from her getting from up there to down here took about three seconds, yeah. probably. <laughs> but she did not go very far. Just for scale in the dark. This is very, very much uphill. Like, the truck's up there and it's probably 50 feet above us and Wait, it's only 50 one? yards. Go this way. Really? Are you kidding me? Do you help lift That's the way we walked. Okay, but look this way. Hmm. We need the path of least, least resistance, please. All right, we'll take her that way. Take her that way. You guys just do whatever you want. You need to go right up through here where we came through. I know that's what you want to do, but... I would go up here, right here, and then kind of to the right. Where are we? The first 10 yards of our track, where we were on our hands and knees. That's why I said we should have gone that way, where the deer walk out, where it's open. But it's open here until you get to the briar batch. It's also open over there. So what way do we have to go? You guys go whatever way you want. You didn't listen to me. That way? So we need to go around this tree and go that way? Is that what you're saying? That way? Well, you remember like going through that right there? The deer all come out over there. I told you guys to go that way, but... Oh. <laughs> One, two, three. She's gonna poop on her face. Oh my God! But the last little bit's gonna be thick as hell. Oh gosh. This one we're gonna have to just heave. Hmm. No hurry. Let me step over. One. Oh. oh. Hang tight. I just pulled something, but I, we're gonna have to keep going. Is it still hurt? Oh yes. We gotta keep going. One. Let's get her over this. Two. Three. Ah. Yeah, here's the field right here. So we came in through over there. You're at the field right there? Well, it's... Right there? Yeah, but this is where it gets steep. Oh, 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 tripping. Oh, God. I 
Yep. <laughs> oh, that's staying in the video. I think everybody somewhat feels that way when this happens. Well, Remember considering on the hill? Yep. Considering you guys got to gain like another 50 feet in elevation, right here is where it gets steep. Yeah, but I think, are there any down trees like the ones in front of you? Mm, just like six or seven. Oh. Big step right here. Ready? Aim. Fire! Oh. We need that light. We have no light, sir. I know. I'm trying to scout the path here. Oh yeah, you guys are wide open. One, three. Oh, I'm full of more blood. Why do I have all your blood on it or me? One, two, three. I think I'm just going to make a video, two women drag a deer up a hill. I need a break. we got to be almost there, girlfriend. I'm sure we are. The field's right there. The truck is The truck is 25 yard, 20 yards away. we got to do a one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, this is steep. This is rough. It's the last bit. You're almost to the field. It's right there. You just you we not the one, two, I don't even have her. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. I think this is like a, you know, just a good life lesson. Not for you guys, because you guys have done this before, but... But for people who want to hunt and think it's no, super easy? No, 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 for people who want to eat. Oh, and yeah. if they lived 100 years ago, this is what you had to do. Yeah, but think about 150, 200 years ago, like if you were hungry, you, you had to, for one, go kill a deer. And they didn't have range finders and trail cameras and food plots. Oh, and they didn't have, they, they didn't have freaking crossbows and broadheads. And Something crawling in my hair. Are you oh. sure it's not? It might. People have lost touch with nature and their food. I can't see. Okay. They've lost touch with nature and Sorry. their food and how the real world works and then they look down on people like us. High five. They look down on people like us. That's how America was founded, one deer, one deer at also, a time. Also, we don't have to have processed meats in your grocery store. Imagine doing it with a stick and string and a freaking rock on the end of a, another stick with feathers on it. No. Imagine that. So does the truck drive over here? Um, no, because it's my food plot. I'm not driving through that. It's a good suck. It is a good suck. Yeah, once it's done, it's done. Oh, you're going that way. <laughs> I was walking the other way. Oh, this is really up here. Ready? Yeah. There's a stump right there, too. Oh, oh, oh. There's trees right here, too. I can't see. Hold on. You guys did good. Oh, look at He's helping. Oh. Holy moly. Good, I lost her. She's slippery. Oh, she's licking all the grass. Hell. I mean, I'm proud of that, drag. You got this. Body first or feet first? Body. Oh no, she's all wet. Oh, One. clean shot on the outside. Two. Two. Three. There it is. Well, there's your exit, so she was quartering two a little bit. Perfect shot, Laura. She's a birthmark. <laughs> Okay. Probably from sliding down the hill. How far was that? Mm, my guess would be from where you shot her to where we found her, 75 yards tops would be so my guess. So not far, but. You also have to figure she hill. literally probably was, yeah, downhill makes it a lot easier for them. 
they can just travel the loser faster easier um but no i mean it's perfect shot double long i don't think you got hard i think it's just double long um she was quartering two you hit her forward perfect where you should and it's no different than my buck i did the exact same thing i hit it a little bit more forward and it came out a little bit farther back the only difference between mine and yours is yours was so freaking close that arrow went straight down so you want to hit you want to hit high because the exit is probably going to be six inches different than the entrance just because she was what less than 10 yards right yeah she was about seven yeah so perfect shot you look like you were working your face is red can you that was a tough drag it's a tough drag all right so we gutted the deer it was on the tailgate what in the hell did you guys do she was on there well, now you gotta go get her you gotta go find her Oh Again. my god. And I drilled two miles an hour. Well, this video is kind of a joke um, in the sense that, you know, we're just making fun of the situation. And uh, these ladies are legitimate, straight up killers. Um, they know how to gut deer. I've been teaching them for a couple of years now. They know how to clean, quarter, debone deer. Um, we process all of our own meat, and um, our families are nourished because of it. I think there's a lot of people out there that if the, the world goes south are going to be in big trouble. And uh, people like these ladies and myself um, and my kids are going to be just fine in the future. If the whole world goes to shit, um, we will survive, like, uh, like old Hank said. A country boy will survive. We can skin a buck, we can run a trot line. A country boy will survive. Or a country girl in this, in this instance. But um, they're learning. And uh, if you guys know, and you shoot deer, and they run downhill, you know how it is dragging them out, you know, a quarter mile, or you know, however far you gotta go, it's what you gotta do. And uh, we know that as hunters, when we, uh, when we make a decision to shoot a deer, that uh, we do everything in our, our, everything in our power to recover that deer and use that deer to its 100% full potential. And uh, that's what's hun what hunting's all about. And a lot of people misunderstand it. And um, most of the people that are against hunting have no idea what hunting is. And, um, Hunting is a great family and uh, just an amazing, amazing part of life. And uh, I don't care who you are, but I believe that these creatures were put on earth by God. If there's God or a higher being, these creatures were put on earth for us. And if you think that these creatures do not die miserable, slow deaths from other predators, other than us humans and hunters, and are eaten alive by other animals, you're wrong. They get hit by cars all the time and you know, God only knows. But um, we will survive because we can, we can go and get our own meat, we can bring it back, we can cut it up and we can uh, put it on the griddle. Eh? And we can load her on tailgates and drop her and have to drag her back anyway. Well, this is all a learning lesson for you ladies. She was on that tailgate. You were the driver. Yeah. <laughs> That's it for this video. This video is a complete joke and um, just kind of a funny thing that happened. And uh, we're gonna put it out. Hopefully it goes viral. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. And uh, if you're against animals being killed and eaten, fuck off.